All right, we just finished sawing off that 32nd of an inch to shorten that rib, and we did get a little cut of sawed off piece here. Very thin, like a 64th of an inch. So that shows you how sharp and accurate that saw is. Oh, there's another little piece. Just finally got cut off. Yeah, there we go. Very thin, 64th. So that should be just right for the amount we needed to take off or to take off the clamps. The call, leather lined call, and the uh, little box that was holding it up underneath there. Get rid of all the sawdust. trash don't want to breathe that in okay now let's see yeah now that's just about right for we to glue that side down it should fall right within the edge we'll have to trim this down a little just to make sure it's square saw was cutting was wasn't perfectly 90 degree that's understandable because of the small amount we were taking off so we can either use the chisel or a little small plane See that little curl? That's all we want to take off. And if anything, we want to have this going backwards so that the top edge hits. Got a little bit more to go here. Yeah, we're getting close. We'll hit it with the file again and see where we're at. Of course, it would be easier if the rib was all the way off and you could clamp this down. But that would be a lot more work. 
and the old silver mouse house is not worth that. Well, we're getting close here. Yeah, you can see the bottom side fits pretty well. Top is a little bit off. Yeah, that's probably going to take a good 20 worth, minutes worth of careful work. Which I don't think you need to be recorded. It's tedious. We'll show you how it comes out though and we'll glue it up. Then we'll be ready to put, it, put the top back on. Thanks for watching.